I left the boy, gave up the dreams of the baby and being married and yada yada, and I never looked back. I'm an online adult performer. <laughs> so when I got sick with pancreatitis, I lost a lot of my fans because I couldn't be there to interact with them in any way whatsoever. And my mom, she's just like, well, what can I do to make it easier? And I'm like, <laughs> oops, please. <laughs> I was joking. And my mom, of course, didn't look at it as a joke. I went from using food stamps to making $50,000 a month. So you paid for your, your daughter's boob job. Tell us about that. Oh dear. So this is actually my favorite wig. I love it. I know I already have pink hair, but I love it anyways. <laughs> and I don't know why, but there are certain things that are more popular with gentlemen online. The schoolgirl is a huge one. That's actually really popular with the gentlemen. But then we have some like funnier stuff like this too that they're into. This is my Barbie outfit. I don't know why they're into that so much, but it works for me if it makes money. Anything see-through. They love anything see-through. So I have a lot of see-through stuff. My name is Sophia Sunshine. I just turned 33 and I'm an online adult performer. <laughs> My childhood could be described in tons of different words, but if I was to sum it up, I'd say I had really great parents in really horrible situations. They were always there to put a band-aid over my boo-boos and whatever. But we grew up quite poor, so sometimes we had to go to the food bank, and um, when my parents lost their job, if they lost their job, it was a big deal. Growing up was difficult. <laughs> I was headed down one certain path, and it was, it was definitely a path that a lot of women take. I was going to get married to a very nice boy and have his baby, and I was just gonna keep working at those little jobs for the rest of my life, and then I got a dog and I fell in love with this little dog. And all I wanted to do was have lots of money in my bank account so I could take care of this little dog. And when she fell on her face and I couldn't afford the bill, I realized I had to do something else. And uh, I quit my job as a waitress. I left to start work and I never looked back. Honestly, these are probably some of my favorite accessories. Any good outfit needs a really good accessory. Um, I like to collect paddles. You can fill in the blanks as to why. <laughs> I make a cool $50,000 a month American. That's on maybe about an average. Sometimes you make a little bit more, about $60,000 a month. And uh, sometimes I make a little less, like maybe $30,000 or $40,000 a month, depending on the time of year and how much effort I put into my page, because sometimes I get a little lazy, so. <laughs> Hi. She's been Hello. so excited to mm. see. She's always excited because I'm her favorite. Hello. At first, I did not like it. At first, I came at her with a barrage of questions and tried to talk her out of it. I didn't like it. She was patient with me and told me what it was about, and I saw her determination. So it's either stick with her and be with her or go against her and lose her, so the answer was easy. I missed you, how was the trip? I missed you too. When I got sick with pancreatitis, I lost a lot of my fans because I couldn't be there to interact with them in any way whatsoever. So when I came back from being sick and I didn't have my breasts anymore, it's like, it's not so much that I wasn't attractive to people, it's more like I wasn't attractive to myself anymore. I didn't know how to pose, I didn't know what my angles were, I felt weird in things that I would normally do to engage myself and interact in my videos. So you paid for your, your daughter's boob job, tell us about that. Oh dear. I paid for my daughter's boob job because she was complaining about <laughs> her, how when she had lost a lot of weight, her boobs dropped and she wasn't very happy and her confidence level was, it was waning. Shaky. We discussed it and I said, well, why don't we just get them enhanced? And she was for it. She did all the legwork and found the right doctor. I gotta make sure I put your money to good use. Yeah, you, and you <laughs> did, you did. No, it's helped her out quite a bit. And I think it's because of the boots. <laughs> One of the things. She just saw her daughter who was in pain and wanted to help and she had some money in her account uh, that she'd been saving for a really long time. And she offered every dollar of it so that I could get a boob job. I want to do a little photo shoot. Maybe you can help me just for Instagram, nothing big. Um, yeah. I'm just so awkward when I'm taking photos for Instagram because my clothes have to stay on. Yes. <laughs> I need you to I help did. me. I think we can work around Help me look modest, mother. It's on the lights. 
I found these. Oh gosh. Those would be good for the shoot. Yeah, but like I'm not walking in them. <laughs> yeah, well you don't have to. I can't get them on, help me. Come here. Can you suck your foot in? <laughs> I have fat ankles. There you go. I don't know what I would do without her sometimes. I'm not really lying because it's hard finding help in this industry. A lot of the times if you need an assistant, you go through group chats and you try to find someone reliable. It's absolutely insane trying to find somebody you really trust and can work well with. So having my mom on board has been like amazing. Uh, she does all of my networking with the other girls. So sometimes we do trading where I'll post this girl and she'll post me and we'll, you know, hopefully get fans from each other. So my mom arranges all of that. Sometimes my mom manages my um, Instagram for me. We make TikToks together. <laughs> you are so cute in here. Look at you. I think you're so cute. Hi guys. I just wanted to check in and say hi. I'm actually in the middle of my video shoot right now. I'm doing a little photo shoot. Do you like my outfit? How do I look? <laughs> um, I can't wait to share all the behind the scenes stuff with you guys later. Come say hi. Hi guys. How you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> because I am Sophia's mom, a lot of mothers, uh, put me down for letting her do what she does. But my thought on it is she's gonna do it anyways, so might as well be with her as opposed to being without her. We probably enjoy what we do a little bit too much. For but her. you know what, it's brought us a lot closer together. Okay, pitter patter, you get at her and I'll talk to you later. Pitter patter, you get at her. I swear to God, I don't even know where you come up with this. <laughs> I feel that people who have an opinion that feel like maybe my mom and I working together is inappropriate. I feel like maybe your image of what I do for a living is a little bit clouded, that's what I would say. I feel like there's a lot of misconception as to what we do for a living. People think that I'm out there sleeping with random strangers or that my mom is involved in my or that we make videos together. That kind of behavior would absolutely be inappropriate for my boundaries. I have gained weight, woman. I don't think this desk can like chair. hold up my weight. Put one boot up on the chair. That's what happens there, when I let there. mom direct my photo shoot. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> this is why you're not allowed in the room when I'm filming. Okay, I'm excited to see what these look like. I think I look really cute. Oh, that's sweet, you know. I like that. Look at me, I'm like, hi. Well. <laughs> oh my God. So I went from walking to the bus stop, freezing cold because I couldn't afford a jacket, wondering how I was gonna afford my next meal and how much I have left in my bank account. And now I'm sitting in a house that I, my, I've never seen my parents live in. I'm doing things for my mom and my dad that their parents were never able to do for them. It's changed my life in a way where I can finally take care of myself and the people that I love and then go beyond that even and take care of the communities that I care about.